out of Jackson a little bit. It's old Milan, Tennessee. We call it Milan around here. Milan. It's a little restaurant called Higgs. Now, on their Facebook page, it says it's an American uh, buffet, American food buffet. But their logo looks like a little Italian dude. So, I don't know. We're going to test it out and see. Since it's a buffet, they got a variety of foods we can test and go from there. A lot of times, buffets, they don't season anything. You just throw it out there. Because there's a lot of food costs at buffets. But we're going to check it out. We were going to go check out a restaurant. They said they were open on Facebook, but they're not open yet. Called King Buffet here in Jasmine. But we'll check that out next week or something. Uh, when did they say it was over? Next week? Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday the 9th. Yeah. So we'll check those out next check that out next week. Be kind of cool to check out a restaurant that first opens and then maybe go back later on and see how they change six months down the road or something like that. But uh So we're here at Higgs. Price looks pretty clean, doesn't it? I love a good salad bar. I figured it would be me. Alright, so we got some salad bar. Got me some. I'd have used Thousand Island, I didn't have any ranch. Uh, but still was good. That was pretty good. I could come here just for the salad bar. I love a good salad bar. Daniel's tearing his up too. There ain't nothing on that. No. You know he's disappointed because the peppers ain't hot. But nothing's hot to him. It was good so far. So their sign says they're good for catfish, so we're gonna see. So we just talked to the waitress, and this building, she said, what, 25 years? 26 years. This restaurant's been here 26 years. That's went through a couple names. Bonanza, what else did you say? Well, something else. But now it's locally owned. So, uh, yeah, pretty good. Thank you. Yeah, food's pretty good. A lot of cleaning going on. I guess it's a quick book if you weren't near, near mine. It's not as flavorful as mine, I guarantee you yeah. that. Is it? It's okay, it's cool for it. But okay, I mean, is it dried out or? It's not dried out. Oh, that's good. You know, maybe people do that. He thinks his pulled pork is the best. I'll give you a pat when we get the fire out. We were talking about on the way up here. We may do like a because it's getting warmer. We may do a camping episode where we like cook and review our own foods for the for the uh, show. We may do that. I would love to cook a ribeye over open flame. What? <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> He's having an orgasmic experience. <laughs> what, what was good? He's uh, I ain't had this in a long time. What is it? Cornbread? It's basically cornbread with uh, more crackling. Oh wow, I didn't even get any of that. So that tries to make catfish.
<clears throat> show you what I come over and watch some Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> I think the cap is a little under seasoned. But it's not bad. I definitely have it way worse. So, what are they saying? Do they know what kind of infection it was? I right, season on cap is, but one of the most if it's moist and cooked well. And this definitely is. Look at that. So, it's good. Let's camera focus in. Yep. Moist. Later. It's good. Paint to you right now. Well. <laughs> <laughs> that man. Just make sure you cook. I think that's what it was. <laughs> what pink eye? Yeah. <laughs> I said make sure you cook the food right next time, but that won't happen. What was it, salmonella? Well, you just make it up stuff. Black eyes. You know. You're gonna get beat up and you cook it be cooked, right? One of our friends that was on an episode, Fins, was on the Fins, uh, oh, Casey Fins episode. He was the, in the uh, hospital with an eye infection. Every time the nurse comes in. So we're messing with him. Bring you a what? I can't believe our waitress has worked here for 20 something years. I don't think I can do restaurants at all. I could do it. Alright, so we're gonna try that green beans. Makes amazing. Makes cornbread amazing. Looking pork right over there. <laughs> Feel like a little kid. You be like, ah. I've never had it like that. I've never had trouble. Green beans pretty good. There's, I haven't tasted anything that's bad yet. <laughs> This is a good restaurant with good old country folk. Cooking good food. We all mean. We got everybody from senior citizens to little kids. It's not loud noise. You know. Yeah, some restaurants are on the way through, right? But, but this is pretty packed. I mean, it's about half full running. Right what time is it? Five o'clock, but half back. Starting to fill up. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. My glass hasn't got empty yet. I drink the hell of a lot of tea. What a salad. <laughs> he just made a salad. His plate was that tall. I mean, I swear. Now they got Travis Tripp playing in the background. This may be my new favorite restaurant. It's like 30 minutes away from my house. It was definitely worth it. So I switched to the baked beans, pork pork, chicken plate. These baked beans are good. Most flavored I've ever had in, in baked beans. Now, I'm gonna taste this barbecue and see what you think. Let's put country bar on. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of plain. I'm, Daniel said that earlier. I don't think it smoked, but it's definitely moist. <laughs> Here we go. We'll try this chicken. Chicken's pretty good. Tastes about like, you know, baked chicken I would cook it on. Well seasoned. Cut your hands good. Cut your hands good.
my, might be Daniel's favorite restaurant too. <laughs> Favorite buffet? Favorite buffet? <laughs> yes. Turned out pretty good. Let's do a test. People right next to us just got up. We'll see how long it takes for them to clean the table. No, I think it's the same waitress that's been here for 20 something years. I'm pretty sure she knows how to do her job. I know what we'll do. I want to do an episode where we like a battle of the steaks. We did. I tried one at Red Bones last night. The other day with uh, Amy, I did an episode with uh, Logan. So we'll come here and we'll do the sirloin here. Kind of a, you know, big restaurant, Logan's, smaller restaurant, Red Bones, and then a small place like this and compare them. I don't think that'd be a bad idea at all. So my big bet pee with turnip greens. Because if I don't like taste a hint of bacon, I don't want them. And they look nasty to eat anyway. So I gotta have a little bit of bacon. Just a little bit. So let's see. I don't like them. I found the first thing here I don't like. I just, I like a little bacon in it. <laughs> But, uh, oh, my bad. Hey, now it's time to go check out and see what they got for dessert. I never done a dessert at a, dessert at a restaurant, so we're gonna do it. I saw my favorite up there. First time me eating dessert on one of these shows. I really don't eat dessert often. But me and my grandmother used to eat these all the time. The good old pecan pie. Or pecan pie, however you want to say it. But this brings back a lot of memories. Me and my grandmother ate these all the time. So the question is, food or trash? Definitely good food. You want some pecan pie? 